Hello everyone and welcome back and this will be a general weekly reading for the sign of Taurus for the week of March 24th. And I'd like to give a very special thank you to everyone who has been subscribing to my channel and helping it grow and getting it noticed and for all the thumbs up on the videos that you've watched and the lovely comments. Thank you very much for doing that. It is greatly appreciated. All right, and your first card out is the Ace of Swords. So look at you, manifesting, material gains coming in. You know, if you were feeling stuck about any decision that you weren't quite sure about, now you're getting clarity. You know, you're getting clear and real with many things in your life. You know, you're leaving things out that need to be left behind and you're moving into a positive move. And the Nine of Cups, beautiful wish fulfillment. Aww. So this is a wish come true for many of you. You know, this is going to satisfy many emotions in your life. You know, something that you've wanted for a very long time. And now you're getting that wish granted and you're elated. This could be money-wise as well. But you're now self-satisfied and now you're realizing what it is that you want next coming into your life so that's very 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 nice and the eight of swords yeah you were feeling negative for a while a little bit upset held back you know you were feeling like you were restricted in many areas of your life and now you're realizing that those imposements are released and you can take care of yourself and and move yourself forward so you're no longer feeling entrapped you're feeling invigorated to take your next steps going forward and the magician look at you go <laughs> you wanted something for a very long time and you have now managed to take the first steps to bringing this to light you know and you're not taking no for an answer your mind is set you know what it is you want to do and you're stepping forward and you would move a mountain if it has to be done with ease because you're that determined to bring around what you want in your life you know you've tapped into your own true potential of what it is that you are not only capable of doing but accomplishing And the Ace of Wands, look at that for sure. There are definitely opportunities here knocking at your door. This could be in careers, creative projects, and you're taking the opportunities. You can actually see them and you know that that's the right moves for you. This is going to turn into like a labor of love that you actually, you know, are over the moon about doing because it makes you feel good and fulfilled on the inside so this is great growth material yeah and the six of pentacles yeah you're learning to not only just keep giving but to actually step back and and allow people to help you you know so you're you're learning to receive as well as share your wealth, your harmony, your wisdom. And there's such openness for this going forward. You're starting to understand that while you let people give to you, it helps them as well. It makes them feel just as good as you have always felt in helping others. And the Fool card, yeah. You're definitely starting over new beginnings. There's a project here that, you know, that you want to get started on. And it's almost like blind faith. You're taking those steps. You're understanding that it's your time. You know, you're tired of putting things off on the back burner. And, you know, you just never get back around to doing what it is you want to do. And this is the week that you're taking those steps. You know, you're making sure everything, all your ducks are in a row before you you get going. But you're definitely already made up your mind that this next step is for you. Now, this could be trips, new jobs, starting new adventures. But you're moving forward because 
It's what's making you feel good. And the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, there's collaboration here, teamwork. You're learning to share the knowledge that you have. And you, you're very knowledgeable in many, many areas. And you make things that you do look so easy to others that they're, they're in awe of you. Now, this could be a company actually offering you to pay you very well to come work for them, to help them get their businesses on track. That's how much that you bring to the table. And, you know, people are willing to reward you for what it is you already know, that you do so well without even thinking about it. But people are actually giving you that whole, not only attaboys, but they're letting you help them. And the judgment, yeah. Look at you. This is a rebirth for you. It gives you that whole, you know, feeling back again that you probably haven't had for a while. You know, you're realizing that there's been something, some decisions and stuff that you wanted to do and you've thought about it, but you haven't really never taken action on it. So you're realizing that it's been going on for a while and now it's a time to step up. Do what it is you want to do. Get things going. You're telling yourself, God help you, you know, the brutal, honest truth. And if there's people that aren't, you know, good for you around who you are with, then you're letting them go. You're understanding that you need to close that door once and for all so that you can keep going forward with the feeling of love and happiness and fulfillment without guilt and all that other unnecessary stuff. And the Five of Cups. Yeah, you know, you you have regrets of things that failed you in your, your life, disappointments, which is absolutely normal. And you're spending a little bit of time um, grieving the loss of it. You know, could be a relationship, could be friendships, could be so many things, jobs, um, just life in general has, you know, maybe you tried something and it, it didn't pan out. So it, it really affected you and, and held you back in many cases for some of you. And now you're realizing that you can go forward from here. You can put the cups, leave them where they lay. Yes, it's okay. You'll spend a little bit of time going back over the situation so that you don't repeat and then you're going to turn around pick up the two cups and move forward over that bridge to a better um, life for yourself something that makes your heart sing and open again and the four of pentacles yeah you're saving money you want more security you want to not have to worry you know and you're con you're in control of it and you realize that as well you're very much aware of who's going to make this happen for you. So you're taking the steps to make sure that your finances are in good order, that you're not having to feel like you are always looking for more. So you, you've been, you know, penny pinching for a long time to get yourself in this secure spot. And you don't just want to, you know, open the door and have it come gusting through and it's all gone. You're spending a little to enjoy a lot. And the Queen of Pentacles, yeah, you're definitely doing that. Absolutely. You're making sure your bank accounts are growing. You know, your monies are in good places. You're, you're trying to figure out, you know, what's your best investment or the best bang for your dollar. You know, when you go out to purchase something, you're making sure that you're getting the best deals. If you're going out for dinner, you're being fed very well, you know, just those sort of things. And you're making sure that it's a good place for you. This could be a new business as well, you know. Somebody asked you to come step up and help them and, and maybe you've decided that, well, I can open my own business. And maybe that's what you're looking into. But whatever this is, it's going to pay you handsomely. And the seven of rods, yeah, defending your choices, standing up for yourself. You know, you've had 
a hard time to get where you're at in the comforts that you have if you're not explaining or you know telling anybody anything it's what you're doing for yourself so that's beautiful all right i'm going to shuffle and deal you an angel or a card but your cards are all about self-preservation moving forward starting out on your dreams so that's very good all right almost to help heal this situation see the other person's point of view with compassion all right and on that note i will say goodbye for now don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll talk to you again next week bye for now